Hello guys, Invertebrate Dude here. Welcome to a new unboxing video. Um, I got, I just got a package from Bugs in Cyberspace, and uh, if you've been following his YouTube channel the past couple months, you probably already know what's in here. But, uh, but th there's some stuff though that I haven't really talked about um, that he hasn't talked about either. That is also in this package. So, but uh, yeah, uh, let's let's dig in. Alright, here's the box. He usually sends... Peter usually sends stuff, uh... Envelopes. Priority Express envelopes. So... Let's open up and there'll probably be a box inside here. A tricky. Inside is another box. There's a little heat pad patch here. So, a little one. Alrighty. Let's open. Uh, let's see, let's see what we got in here. Oh my god. Sit on the side, another box. <laughs> okay, um, well, this should be easy. Like a Russian nesting doll. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go, so. Alright, there's multiple. First off, let's just see what's right here. Okay, these are some of the, the Darkling Beetles. Request. Um, oh, can we get a, get a close up of that? These are some Troglodaris Darkling Beetles. And then there uh, should be some, yeah, some of these. Serenopus. I'll get better macro shots of these later, but uh, yeah, look at that, that's a weird, weird looking dark beetle. Huh. Yeah, I'm excited, excited to breed these. Uh, I don't think, and no one's bred uh, either of these before, the, the, the Troglodaris or the little diminutive uh, Troglodaris. And I've actually kept Troglodaris before, there's a species in Idaho, there's a couple species in Idaho actually. Uh, and I, I caught a couple before, but uh, either I ended up with two males, or I didn't keep them on a, a proper substrate for breeding, and they just never bred. But uh, hopefully this time I'll have success. So thank you so much, Peter, for these. Uh, I'm really looking forward to them. Really looking forward to breeding these. Okay, so put the lid back on. And, uh, all right, what else? We got? Yes, okay. Oh! Okay, these are the black Destiny Beetles. I, I also requested. Let's see if I can get it. Aw. Look at that. Oh, oh. Dropped it. Aw. Uh, that's cool. Huh. They're cute. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying to breed these as well. I just accidentally kind of uh, reared uh, a couple of uh, Cryptoglossa muricata, uh, muricatum uh, larva to adulthood. Well, one to adulthood and two are pupa right now. So I'm pretty confident I can breed uh, as bolus now. Uh, so looking forward to that. I don't know if anyone's ever reared as bolus lavis uh, to adulthood. So. We'll see, we'll see. It'll be cool. Alright, and... Here we go. The main event. The main event. Oh, boy. And 
Oh, I see the antenna. You see the antenna? Yep. Oh my god. The holy grail. What many consider to be the holy grail of U.S. Uh, bladder culture. Worldwide bladder Yep. Macro penis feeler nauseous. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so cute. Wow, they're, they're way bigger than I thought they'd be. And they're only like third or fourth in star. Um, wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, they're so adorable and they're alive. Both in love, but. Oh my god. Yes. Oh. So if you have been watching his videos, Peter's videos recently, uh, Bug Insider Space, you know, YouTube.com, um, he posted like a, on Instagram he had posted a Q&A asking people what they wanted to see in one of his uh, videos, and I requested that he show off his rhino roaches, because, you know, I kind of wanted to see him, uh, and so in the comments of that video where he did end up showing uh, the rhino roaches, he, uh, we got into talking about these, and, you know, he asked if I'd ever had them before, and I was like, no, no, I've not, and I've never kept them, I wanted to keep them in the past, but other things just, uh, got in the way, so, uh, he, uh, offered very generously to send me a pair for free, for free, so, um, wow. Thank you so much, Peter. Oh my god, I'm really, really looking forward to working with these and rearing them to adulthood. Oh my god. This is awesome. The heaviest cockroach in the world. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, the adventures. Oh, I just, I don't want him to drop onto the floor. But, uh, wow, these are cool. These are so cool. Oh my god. So looking forward to this. Ah, so adorable. Ah, okay, so that's it for the unboxing, I guess. Um, now it is time to uh, get macro shots of them with my other camera. So, oh no no no! Okay, all right.